Let's rock. Let's go, y'all. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the King's Speech Podcast after show. After show time. After show time. I like this topic. Indeed. This I think is it's good. good. Good timing. It is. Good timing. It is. So for our after show, uh, we have what I learned about myself this quarter. So, of course, we know the past quarter. COVID quarter. COVID quarter. It doesn't even... COVID quarter. Yep. Indeed. COVID time. COVID so time. we're going to discuss the things that we learned about ourselves during this time. Josh is going to take it uh lead off lead off indeed well one thing that i did learn is that physical activity um in the long run plays a great <laughs> great 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 uh role in my life okay just how i feel about myself um in terms of confidence in terms of just accomplishing things in terms of just I feel like a better person when I do something physical throughout the course of the day. So for me, knowing how important it was, because during quarantine, I went through a point where I was physical a little bit, then then not, then not for yeah. a very long period. And I felt every inch of that because I had so much time with myself. Mm-hmm. And then I went to the point where I got back to being physical again. And I was like, oh, shit. You There's need a great difference in yeah. my mood and how I feel about myself. I feel so, you. Key. I've gotten, you know me, like I was out there like five days a week. Yeah. Chef, uh, working out. to live across the street from you. <laughs> nope. Trevor, my phone <laughs> doesn't go to blue bubbles anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was it was that. And uh, I did go through a period of like a little inactivity. And today I worked out this morning and I plan so on doing the same. Yeah, I plan on doing the same thing tomorrow again tomorrow morning. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's good. You definitely need it. So one thing I learned about myself uh, this quarter, COVID quarter, I'm very comfortable being alone in my space. Nice. Extremely. Nice. Because you, for majority of COVID, were in these walls. Solo dolo. Solo dolo. Indeed. And you, Blu-ray, um, <laughs> Salmon. And Madden. And Madden. Yes. Okay. Indeed. Uh, and potting, of course. And, and some potting. Absolutely. But um, yeah, I'm comfortable with that. That's you know, nice, I man. am not, I did not like seek out any, you know, random or temporary you know no you were actually you actually not, yeah a value i was checking in and i was watching because i was like yeah. yo i don't know how to signals sing single niggas is doing it and it was hard but but no but like a, you you handled it very very well there were yeah. obviously i know like there were some times where it was like yo my man i need a little need bit some, of mean, right yeah. but more importantly it's about being comfortable with who you are and yeah. the things that you like and enjoying that time with yourself. So salute to you for having that. And I man. think as guys, it's not even just guys, but as people in general, like during those times of, you know, being alone, we kind of lower our standards to what we'll accept or the company right. or the level of person that we'll accept. And I give myself and a bunch of other people credit who went through this time and lived by themselves or had a lot of time by themselves for not, you know, lowering the bar or the standard of the people that they are that they'll allow into their life, into their space, just to have company, you yeah. know? Yeah, and that benefited me, not doing that. It, it, it did work out for the long run. No, I, 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 I watched that. I watched that. I watched yeah. that from the outside looking in, and um, you did that. Yes. So salute. Indeed. And you deserve the reward that you got. Yes. Very nice. Very nice reward. Very nice. Actually, on the flow of things, you asked me what else did I put on the list, and it was just more of a... Um, I said it was more of a smoothie. Yeah. And for me, um, COVID just kind of put, and this break and this quarter kind of put things in perspective of what's important to me mm-hmm. in my life because it's un- not until you have that conversation of what is really important to you and not what other people think should be important to you. Like mm-hmm. some other people might think it's really important for you to have a really good job or some other people might think it's really important for you to be doing X, Y, and Z, but what is most importantly for you, the individual? And for me, I've just figured out that for me, it's just a job that pays my bills, right? Mm -hmm. And the things that I want in life. One that allows me to travel with my partner. Mm -hmm. um, Allow me to have a family with my partner and a career that gives me a nice, healthy work-life balance. I want to be able to have a family and enjoy that family, not Mm -hmm. wrapped up. I want to enjoy the job that I do, but not wrapped up in the job that I do. And I want to be able to come home and say, I'm spending time with my family, and that's me spending time with my family, enjoying that, those fruits. That's what's important to me. So that's what I learned about in this quarter, and that's what I'm focusing all my efforts into, and just start my life and my family life and move forward in that direction. 
I feel you on that because, um, and I mean, I, I want a lot of those same things. Of course, I want you know the King's Speech podcast to pop and always be be relevant and popular. Um, but I like the same thing. Like I want a career that allows me a healthy work life balance because for the past six and a half years, I have not had a healthy work life right. balance. Right, and, it, and, and it's eating our, at our lives. And I know what that feels like. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, entering into this point in life where you feel like you're ready for, you know, a family, something stable. You want to have that time available. You want to make that time available for your family, for yourself, for the things that you really love right? and the things that you really enjoy. So, you know, I feel you on that. Uh, another thing I learned, I don't need all these fucking cable channels. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yo, yo, dead ass. I've only watched two channels. In I, I watch New York One. I watch yes, ESPN. Do. Yes, you do. I watch TLC when my 600 pound life or 90 day fiance Guilty is on. Pleasures. Absolutely. Guilty pleasures. Um, and that's about it. And NBA TV. And yeah, that's about that's it. More, that's more than me. I got TV land and I got BT TV on the land. TV land. Yeah. What are you getting off oh, of oh, TV oh. land? Uh, not t- is it TV land? Yeah, I think it's TV land. Um, King of Queens reruns. King of Queens gold. Yeah. King yeah. of Queens King is gold. King of Queens re- reruns because Ben Spiller's dad just died too. So yeah. Jerry. Um, and then BT for the Martin reruns. You know the vibes. The Very true. Night. Very true. That's it. And then everything else is streaming stuff like Netflix. It's heavy streams. And, um, heavy, heavy streams. Disney Plus. Shout out to my homeboy, Big Mac in Florida, for the Disney oh, Plus plug. The plug? Yeah, yeah. Big Mac, send that through. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, there's something coming out on Disney Plus uh, in a little bit. Kim was hype about it. The Beyonce I, movie? I don't know. There's a lot. There's a few things. There's a few things, though. Yes. But like she said, there's something good that was coming out, and I needed to check it. So I was looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah watch party. We'll do a little yeah. watch party. Yeah, let's do it. I'll watch a little, little date night watch party. I like that. Mm, good mm, vibes. Look at us. Heavy pizza flow. Speaking Heavy of pizza. Pizza. Oh, do you, did you want to go? No, that's next it. One? That's oh. it for my smoothie. Uh, next thing. Um, I can eat pizza five days in a row. Go, 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 go. Without, like, without Sauce, any kind geez, of hesitation. Go, go. That's it. No debate. I don't, I don't, I, I love cooking and I, I feel yeah. like my cooking is going to the next level. Nah, but a slice though. In quarantine, but then like Sauce, put, putting geez, two dough. mediums in front of me, it's a wrap. You mean I could eat this tomorrow and it will still be as good? Absolutely. If you do it right. If y'all don't know the secrets of eating pizza the day after, hit me up. I'll tell you how to do it. What's the secret? Depends. Uh, do you have time or no, no time? If you have time, then you want to put it in the oven. But if yeah. you do not have time, then you're going to take a paper towel. Mm-hmm. You're going to dampen it, right? So run some water on it, dampen it, squeeze it out. Then wrap the slice of pizza in that paper towel on uh-huh. a plate, and you put it in for 30 seconds. You take that bad boy out, and it doesn't taste that doughy, rubbery. It's crispy. T- it's, it just tastes regular. It doesn't taste like that. Like, you know when you microwave dough and it tastes like... It's soft and yeah. like, yeah, okay. No, it doesn't, this, if you wet the paper towel and wrap it around, I should charge for this, honestly. By That's the some hour. real fat boy shit, just by the way. Okay, it was a tough quarantine. That's what I learned real, about this quarter. I'm just saying. This quarter. <laughs> That's some real fat boy shit. Yeah, uh, I, dampen the, I dampen it with like ice cold water. <laughs> I wrap it up. I wrap it up. Swat it like a baby. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. It's like brand new. You know, <laughs> say what you want, my man. But when you try the method and it works, don't text me and be like, yo, my man. Didn't I didn't say I wasn't going to try it. I'm but definitely yeah. going to try it. I know you are. And, and you're going to be like, <laughs> fam, for years I should have been wrapping my pizza <laughs> with such care. Trust me. Uh, actually, just use that trick for anything that you want with the microwave. It does preserve the moisture within it. Good. You heard Indeed. it here first. It's good to preserve moisture. Indeed. <laughs> and, and that, my friends, is why you need to never stop dating. It never <laughs> Absolutely. Go. All right. All right, guys. Um, anything else you learned about yourself, I guess, in, in this in this quarantine? Um, in this quarter? I mean, I kind of knew this already, but I'm built for whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm mm. built for whatever. I'm here for whatever. Uh, ups and downs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to face it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Indeed. There's no more question of, like, am I capable or if I'm possible. Like, no, nah, I'm going to get it through. Like, at the beginning of quarantine, I did not know how I was going to pay rent. Mm. That was a real thing. I, was, I worked three jobs. Yeah. Um, three different jobs, and all my jobs are all people facing. So when you tell me that I'm not going to work for another three months, I don't know how I'm paying fucking rent, right? But mm-hmm. here I am today with money in my savings, and so I know that I'm built to make it happen. That's real. And that's what I learned. Very, very real. Respect. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that's the best way to close it out. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching the after show. Make sure you share, hit like, leave a comment, do all that. 
And uh, we will catch you guys next week with a show. brand new after show. In fact, we're going to make the after show bi-weekly. I like that. Bi-weekly. We're going to make the after show bi-weekly. A little bit this week. We're going to do that. Nothing next week. Indeed. A bit week we're not going to blow our bounding. load. Not going to blow our load too quick. Yeah. Whoa. Pause Because that. that's, that's that can also end a relationship. Uh, I mean, it is what it is, shorty. You're going to get what you get. Okay? What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> I'll go when I go. Okay? <laughs> I'll try again, obviously, after this. But <laughs> like the first one, you're going to get mad when you get tight. <laughs> it's fire. It is what it is. Thanks. Your fault. Huh? Mad at me. <laughs> I didn't have the wet wet. I just walked in. <laughs> that's not like what? I don't even understand why he's, that's even a question. Oh, he was so quick. No, it was fire. I gotta go, man. All right, y'all. Love uh, y'all, man. Subscribe, share the video. Peace. Uh, yes. Deuces. Biggie for life.